Hey y'all, this is Mike here. In this video, we are gonna actually uh, go through some of the steps to make the Mi Box S. Uh, I think I saw the Mi Box S into a uh, media consumption device, which I really think that, I mean, besides Netflix and, um, and all the other media streaming sites like, like Hulu and all those stuff, those are mainly for US folks. So in today's video, the main the main focus will be for uh, Asian folks itself. So if you can land yourself one of these uh, Android TVs, then there are actually a lot of uh, apps that you can actually download to actually make full use of the box. So of course in this video, I will do a uh, fast unboxing as well as some of the steps, what kind of apps you can install basically to um, make full use of this particular Android Android TV itself, right? I mean the Vbox S. So let's just open it up and take a look what is inside the box itself. Okay, we are back uh, and logically we look, look at it after we cut it, we open it up. So you have a Mi Box S itself. It's a clean slick look, it's a lightweight thing. And you basically have a uh, headphone jack, uh, HDMI port, USB port and a power, power uh, what do you call it, uh, input. So uh, what else do you have? You have a booklet and some safety instructions and some other stuff as well for this and if you lift this thing open uh, you'll get yourself a free HDMI cable which is a neat stuff to be included in the box itself you get a uh, remote control slightly updated one compared to a Mi Box 3 and with Netflix and live TV thing um, button like Google Assistant power button and uh, the rest more or less is the same and we have a power adapter of course uh, the box itself okay that's all we have this is all the stuff that's included within the uh, e box as itself so the next step is to actually go through with you guys what kind of apps you can install in order to make full use of this box itself okay so basically <clears throat> what you need to do after you have set up your uh, Mi box s so if you take a look at it there are some apps which is available in Play Store itself, uh, YouTube, YouTube Kids, uh, Vicky. If you wanted Asian dramas, uh, Korean dramas, uh, but um, unless you pay for it, then you just get a mediocre resolution. But um, I think it's still watchable, so it depends on how you look at it. Um, there are still some stuff that you can watch, it might not be the best. Uh, but like I said, it's always better than nothing. Watch straight away if you want to. Uh, the quality isn't that bad, but um, it's just not as nice. You can see, like, the quality itself it's uh, not too bad, it's just not as good. So, uh, apart from that, um, here you have a lot of content that you can actually watch. Uh, YouTube and YouTube Kids, I won't go through it. If you have a Netflix account, then of course you can actually just put in the uh, Netflix account, they can get the good content from there as well. And this is one of the apps that I wouldn't like to point out. This is downloadable uh, via the App Store itself, and it actually has all the Chinese dramas available. And it's uh, the app is basically uh, catered for Android TV, which is uh, pretty good. Um, if you look at it, um, you can have the newer stuff that you have here, then you can just so this is all the app they can use. So these ones are all pre default on the uh, Android App Store itself. So if you wanted some other apps, it's of course you'll need to download the uh, TV file commander. Uh, I don't use ES File Explorer because I don't really like it. This is another option if you want to actually download the APKs from the cloud. And uh, like I said, <clears throat> you can pre-download it and put it in your cloud account. Or you can actually just browse through to the to find actually APKs. Uh, for me, I've already downloaded the things I need. So what I need to do is just open up the file commander and enter my cloud account details, I should be able to access it. So let's just wait for that to happen. Okay, so if you take a look at it, there are some of the apps here that you can actually install. Astro on the go itself, uh, unless you have a uh, air mouse and um, rotate screen orientation, then you can try to install that, but it's a hassle that I'm trying to do it. But I'll have another video to show you guys how to do it for this. So ultimately, what we want for this would be the there's a few apps that you can download. One of them is Asian TV. Asian TV itself, basically, you can actually watch live channels from different countries. 
it's not like super good but um, it's up to you guys whether you want to install it but uh, for me itself uh, normally I don't do that because I don't really, uh, really watch a lot of live TV so the main thing is to install TTV if you want um, they actually have a lot of movies that you can actually uh, browse through so let's just uh, do this so you can do settings this is first time you will need to allow file commander to do so so once it's done then you can continue on with the um, installation again staging app and one of the most important apps you can download is shafa market which is uh, if you if you actually like the um, uh, what do you call it chinese dramas and stuff then you can actually install that <coughs> Which I'll show you in a while. Okay, so once that is done, you can just press on done and you move on to the rest of the APKs, which is the Morph to TV. Uh, you can do this as well, as well as the Shafa Market. These three apps basically will basically cover actually 80% of the stuff that you can watch um, free. So you can click on done and this and more or less we are done with the uh, things here. You can try and see whether you can add anything here like Morph TV you can actually add it in. So you can have Morph TV then you can hold long press on it and you can move it. Maybe you want to move it up next to uh, Netflix. And you can see is there anything else you can add in. You can add in Sofa Market TTV as well. All these are somehow rather Android TV oriented so you can actually have all the stuff here so you can put in Shafa Market as well this one I can leave it here so when you open up Shafa Market itself you can see that there are it's in Chinese so um, if you were to be using what do you call that if you don't Chinese then this is a bit hard so ultimately this is for people that want to watch Asian movies and stuff so normally what I'll download is the uh, First one, the Yoku TV and Mango, some of them. Uh, so, so these are a few things. So, for example, I can download the uh, this one. I can go, uh, then I can go back. Then I can download Yoku. Just, just an example for you guys. See what kind of shows is available for you to watch. So we need to wait for it to finish downloading for now. Then of course you need to download uh, another app so that you can launch Android apps itself else uh, those that are not Android TV customized you might not be able to see their, their things here as you can see uh, you can see CIBN here so I'll just leave it out here yep. so CIBN is the one you will download um, but it can actually have a uh, quite a number of uh, shows that you can watch some of them is paid, some of them is not, so it depends on your uh, on your preference, right? Like for example, uh, some of the uh, TV dramas that you have, not all of them you are able to watch, some of them are for members only. If you subscribe to them, you can watch it, else uh, you might not, right? So for example, we might want to just take a look at the if you can watch it, uh, the quality is pretty good. But of course, uh, so if you can see, this is a sample of the things that you can watch. The quality is not too bad, uh, come to think of it. So of course, there are some other things that you can actually take a look at and to see whether there are stuff that we can watch as well. This and like I said, this is some of the stuff that you can watch. Let's try this. Yeah, like 
list itself, you end have a very good resolution of this show. So ultimately, it depends on what what kind of TV app you are using. So yeah, there are there are still a lot of apps that you can download from Shopify Market itself. So it depends on what you want to do with it. Um, like I said, you will need a site load launcher if you want to do some apps. So normally, we will just click on this. And for this case, you can just do site load launcher. Yep. So you got it done now. So you just do this and install this. So this is basically needed um, for you to actually launch apps which are <coughs> non Android TV apps, right? So when you open it, um, you will have those apps that, that installed there and those that are not. Like, uh, like this one itself is not Android TV capable, so you can't put it under the apps, but you can actually launch it via Cyber Launcher and see what kind of shows they can offer you. So in Java Market, you can download all this stuff. Um, See what they have, right? It's those like VIP data means those that you need to like uh, pay for it and stuff. And those without, then most probably uh, you need to see what what app shows uh, is available for you to watch, right? <clears throat> okay, so uh, these are some of the stuff that you can do uh, actually to get a better experience out of your. Android TV app itself. Like I said, there is a lot of things that you can do, like Morph TV, you can actually open it up and take a look at it. Allow. Allow. Okay, so okay. So you can pick it out of movies, what I did to watch, put on trending. So there will be there will be things that you can see, right? All the movies available and stuff, right? And they will actually just click on it and it will search for the best source for you to watch this thing. So Okay, that's all I have for today's guys. So hopefully if you have a new Android box, this will basically help you 